But when we look at the customer success and you think about, all right, if it's, if it's financial force, what's important, right? You've got consulting, you've got implementation, you've got training, and then you've got support. And all of these things are intertwined, especially when you have partners involved, as well as you know, employees of different tenures and, and expertise. And for me, I thought, okay, the most important thing I could do is bring in a couple of leaders that have seen this movie before and have done it. So what we did, is we brought in a leader of all of our customer support and our customer success, Kevin McKay. I'm going to raise your hand there, Kevin, there you are. Um, Kevin came in essentially with that kind of experience and we decided as a company, let's take customer support, let's merge it with customer success, not have them as disparate groups and not have them report to somebody different. And that way we could kind of really close line and bring together product issues with customer success and have that communication roll to Kevin and then have Kevin be the liaison into product development, which is really good because Kevin's sitting right next to Mark Spateri, who's our chief product officer too, so that's good. I like having them together. Um, and then the other thing we did is we hired uh, Susie Sedlecik, and Susie is the first leader that we've had in the company that's in charge of all of our global implementation services. And I don't know where Susie is, but let's see if we can get the hand right there. She is. Hi, Susie. Um, can we give them both a welcome? Can you guys give them a welcome? Come on now. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about insights from the experts. Um, the concept here is to talk a little bit about the services economy. Uh, we've got three incredible uh, leaders from their companies. Uh, and with that, I'm going to invite up um, Dan Lombardi from HP, Mahesh Boomrocker from Cisco, and Sue Bonner from Sirius Computers. So, you know, I talked a little earlier about having relationships with customers, and so I flew out to San Antonio to talk to Sue about this little project she took on. And uh, she's currently deploying most of our products, uh, everything from Salesforce, literally initial rollout of Salesforce, all the way through uh, uh, PSA, ERP, financial supply chain configuration, to quote. And so, of course, Sue looked at me and said, you know this is a bet your job project. And so I'm like, okay, we're there with you, Sue. That's, that, that's real executive relationships when we're talking at that level. Um, but uh, that's how you got to work with each other and have partnerships.